During Port Clovis's early days, city fathers touted its natural beauty. But the shrimpers and oystermen who docked there were only interested in its many holes. America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybelle Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. of parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. From the shark's target, you could spell damage.
This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Pier 1's bird dog grill is famous for its endless platter challenge. Featuring a dozen oysters, one full rack of ribs, six sausage wings, half a barbecue chicken, and 25 spicy wings. Cashew cluster. Fish are always a delicious choice for a classic Caribbean style dinner. Folds at the entrance of the shark's nostrils allow her to identify elusive odors.
most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons, and probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood treatments. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately physical to stop modern nature's anger. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
stick Gal to the carnival when he wasn't nothing but an itty bitty boy. But the fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel would have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark hunter. The Savage Shrimper, Pookie Paul. A shark is never one to pass up a fat guest. is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
Volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. known habitat of the speckled seaside sparrow. But, you know, they went extinct in 2007.
once shark season ends, hunters... The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. Prosperity created by global capitalism allows vacationers to purchase Sunyer Buns in Port Clovis as about anything. In the 1920s, Sapphire Bay's pier was host to a collection of merry-go-rounds, wooden roller coasters, and fun which would be destroyed.
not give up on finding their body. At least until things quiet down, or they run out of hard limit. things about Mama Maybell, but she always give me a fair price on Phoenix. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the... As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. You want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Just to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But well, my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say, maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings.
Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to go through now, eh? What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. destruction of the Gulf has occurred in tandem with a wholly humanized view of progress and development. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. Shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes to select his food.
Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. <laughs> <laughs>